Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am very excited to show you this new workflow that allows you to do face swap, logo transfer, but also subject cloning using a technology named as Ace++. This technology focuses on image editing, which allows you to create interesting images. I also managed to optimize uh, this workflow using the GGUF uh, models, the Turbolora models, and also the technology behind the wave speed nodes. If you are a low graphic card users, this workflow will be suitable for you. And if you are interested in this image editing, make sure to follow my steps. So first of all, what is ACE++? It is an instruction-based diffusion framework that focuses on image generation and editing tasks. It is inspired by the in-painting process proposed by the flux field models. If you don't know what is the flux field models, you can watch my uh, previous video in order to get familiar with it. So this ACE uh, technology allows you to do editing tasks based on text instruction. So here's some key features for ACE++ that allows you to do uh, impressive uh, image uh, face swapping images but also image editing using a reference image as a guide. So now let's jump into the workflow and I will show you how you can use this technology in easy steps. And I will show you how you can use this technology more easily. Okay, now let's start first with the face swapping. All you need for that is Luxfield uh, workflow, but I managed to do some modification in order to optimize the workflow and the VRAM usage. In addition to that, you will need to download uh, some additional LoRa that was that are related to Ace++. So since we are doing the face swapping, let's first try with this portrait LoRa, which is dedicated for uh, face swapping images. Here I am using Fluxfilm model uh, GGUF version, which will give me uh, some boost. This will be combined with this TurboFlux LoRa, and we have here the applies first block cache that is related to wave speed uh, nodes. As you, as you know, the wave speed uh, allows you to gain some uh, speed during the image generation by avoiding recalculating some data. Everything will be plugged in this key sampler. And here, let me show you, I have this image. So in order to do face swapping, I will need two images. For example, if you are taking this image of Tom Cruise as a reference image, all I need to do is to do in painting here in order to indicate for to in order to indicate uh, to my flux the fill model what area you need to focus on so to do that you have two methods the first one is by do it manually using the just use this mouse like this click save and it will uh, do the mask for you let me clear this but in order for you to work more easily i have uh, another interesting solution which is the grounding dyno for uh, mask detection all you have to do is type in here face and it will use uh, it will analyze the images detect the faces and do the masking for you after that this data will be transferred here using a series of nodes for image preparation then the mask and the image will be transferred in this inpaint model conditioning but before that, we need to use the appropriate text prompt in order for, for us to create this face swapping. To do that, I am using uh, this script text node here. Just select it, click right click, convert text to input. And make sure that is plugged into this git auto prompt. As you can see, I prepared here this auto prompt group based on the Florence 2 model that will allow us to create uh, the appropriate prompt for these images. And make sure that this uh, edit uh, image face swap is blocked here to set image target. So this way, this Florence 2 model we're gonna create a prompt for us. Then we have here this uh, CR text replace for uh, face swapping. You don't necessarily need uh, these nodes, and I will show you later uh, how we can use it. Then we have this string function, and here we have this set auto prompt. I managed to add some additional uh, some additional prompt in here like ultra realistic video realism and also don't forget to to add this maintain the face so the final prompt will be shown here the image shows a man standing in the center of the frame holding a sign that reads buzz by in his hands there are people walking on the road building ports and the clear blue sky so as you can see this uh, Florence 2 model managed to describe the image more properly 
and based on this prompt, our impending process using ACE++ will generate an, uh, an image with the face swapping. So let me uh, show you my first example in order for you to understand more what I am saying. Here we have our first results and as you can see this uh, face swapping looks very clean and interesting. You can clearly see that, that this man resembles very uh, closely to Tom Cruise. In addition to that, the AC++ understands the context of the whole images and uh, allows you to create uh, precise results. I also managed to do some face swapping using different uh, images and uh, context and uh, you can uh, observe that all of them was uh, perfectly done using this AC++. It understands clearly what I want and do the face swapping without uh, any other issue. In addition to that, the generation time is uh, very important since here we are using this flux fill model which takes a lot of VRAM and time for uh, practically most of uh, the graphic cards but using this combination you can manage to cut this uh, time in half and increasing your uh, generation speed but before uh, you can use it let me first uh, show you my uh, key parameters for important face swapping. As you can see here, I am using Flux Guidance of 13. Most of uh, the workflow I, that I saw used a high guidance value uh, in order to create this face swapping, but I managed to do it using this low uh, guidance uh, value, which allows me not only to create perfect face swapping, but also good images. Since if you increase the guidance, it will create uh, oversaturated uh, face swapping images like this one so to avoid that i strongly suggest you to lower this uh, guidance value uh, but also the cfg make sure the your cfg is lower than one and higher than 0 0.5 and for the steps you can also see that i am using a low step value since we are combining this model with this turbo flux lora so with all of those nodes combined this is the perfect combination for face swapping okay the next thing that i want to show you is how to transfer the logo of uh, from one image to another reference image to do that we're gonna do some changes through the workflow first let's set this uh, image target to the reference image here i have this ace logo and and i want to implement this logo on this uh, image over here so i'm gonna change this set image as target in order for this uh, florence to model uh, to create uh, the uh, to create the appropriate prompt also don't forget to change uh, the switch over here to set image target zero next parameter is to select the cfg higher than one and also don't forget to use this mask uh, from the edit uh, image over here Make sure to plug it on the layer utility nodes. After that, use the right click and open the image in mask editor. Make sure to paint your area properly. Then once you are satisfied, just click save in order for you to use that mask. After that, go to your power LoRa and make sure that the TurboFlux LoRa is selected, but also the Comfy Y subject LoRa is selected. It, it should be more easily with these switches so just click q prompt and we will see the results together okay here we have our first result using this logo transportation as you can see we have this this ace logo and it was duplicated here the quality and the, the precision of the results will remain related to cfg scale and also the conditioning as it is for face swapping as you can see for over my examples i obtained different results according to my uh, input images and also cfg scale parameters so as always this uh, shows uh, that uh, the ac++ can understand the context of an image and can transfer some image data 